you know that feeling when you finally find a good detailed tutorial that change your whole perspective about art and calls you ugly, yep this what happened to me, before I find out about Yeehoo. But before showing you the whole thing, I wanna talk about how I've started, how my perspective changed throughout all these years. Well I guess most of you know that I kinda started painting in an early age, but I had no clue about practicing or improving my art. I actually thought I'm an art god already, but here is the reality. Well that was my art lmao, but then after I started watching few videos on the internet, I went like, oh, I guess I suck, and this is how I started painting more, and I've been trying many art styles through these years, especially in 2016, I went hard on rendering, and I discovered this technique, where you paint in grayscale, and then you color with layer modes and stuff, but not gonna lie, I wasn't using it right, and I was ignorant about many stuff, but that's still fine, since I'm still learning even now, and of course for improving, you don't need expensive tablets or softwares, I've been drawing on sketchbook and ibis paint with my fingers for a long time, then got my old dad's PC, and drew with mouse for a long long time too, you just need motivation and later you can save money for a drawing tablet, you can find them now everywhere with a very cheap price, you just need to stop giving excuses to yourself, Today's video, gonna be kinda both sponsoring Yeehoo, and giving tips and advices according to their goddess tutorials. The first step to improve your art, is to get inspired by other artists. Today's artist is Livia Prima, you'll know how I'm crazy over these specific art styles, and you're always asking, how? How do they do that? How can a human hold such a power? What did they do in their past life? To get these art god skills. So what's good now, is that you can actually know these secrets by watching her tutorial, that worth $49, for 22 hours of work, that you can fasten of course so as to learn her secrets, I'll show you a little preview of her course, and let's come back to following it and analyzing it. In my third year of working there, I was assigned to be an art director in the studio, and I still am until today. The team and I mostly work on various game illustration projects for Dota, League of Legends, Magic the Gallery, D&D, Legend of the Cryptids, Final Fantasy Movies, Capcom, and many others. about how to get into the game illustration industry. In my opinion, the best way is to show your best works of them and get known. Your portfolio should showcase your strong points, so the clients will know what to expect from you. If you aim to get into the card game illustration industry, this tutorial is made specifically for you. Or if you want to learn about digital illustration, how to start, the behind the scenes, the tips and tricks, etc., this tutorial is suitable for you as well. It's fun to know other artists' secrets and methods, right? This tutorial is done in real time, so you can draw together with me if you want to. We will start from a client pre, doodling on a blank canvas, doing the sketch and color activities, to rendering, detailing, and giving all the finishing touches. I will let you know how to pass in the process, so that you will need the deadline for sure. There is no other place where you can find this tutorial other than in Yihu.com. Yihu is the only authorized platform for the tutorial in China. Please stay tuned to Yihu and his fantasy character tutorial series. Remember, sometimes the result is not as perfect as you want it to be, but the most important thing is that you learn and grow. There will always be a new opportunity, a new project, a new client. You will make mistakes, learn and grow along the way. You will find yourself in the process. Don't worry, your true style will take you and get stronger in time. My name is Olivia Prima and welcome to my tutorial. So, you all heard the art god, now let's move to the second step, which is, never rush on your sketches or ideas, we all have those specific ideas on our head, I'm going to draw a girl flying in the sky, and blowing a flower, or whatever then you end up drawing some aliens, even aliens are way more handsome than that, that what was happening to me, I used to draw one sketch, then whatever, I go finish the process and flex my render skills, which is wrong, 
Here Livera is showing how she started, beginning with the client's sheet, moving to her references. Now let's say you don't take commissions and you only do personal art. It's the same thing. Those client ideas can be your own ideas and you are your own client. She got her references, the poses that she did them herself, and left me mind blown. And of course other references. The most important thing here is that she made many sketches and chose the best one. Maybe you'll find that wasting of time. But I tried it, and I was shocked, cause you know, maybe you didn't give the best in your other sketches. And maybe you can build something great even with a coincidence lmao, don't waste those lucky coincidences. I'll show you my progress in the second part of the video. Moving to the third step, detailing the sketch, and the use of brushes. We all know how important brushes are sometimes. Cause they be giving a very great and professional texture to your art. Livia used her brushes a lot on photoshop. You can download them with the course. You don't need to pay an extra you will pay $49 for everything. The course. The brushes and her psd file. If you want to study it. Which is very great. Anyways. Those brushes also help you to detail on your grayscale sketch. Before passing to coloring. While detailing. Don't just go everywhere and details this and this. That's still early. In this step especially, you try to give a general idea of the character design. You detail only some parts and you try not to ruin the anatomy while designing the outfit. Then the fourth step, transitioning to colors. Livia give introduction before every step, where she explains the colors theory and how to make the grayscale detailed sketch into life. In this step you need to pay attention to your color choices, and you keep adjusting and changing until you get them right. You need to have sharp eyes and judge every step, and try to figure out how to correct mistakes. Fifth step, is rendering. Rendering is a big part of your whole digital drawing. It's what get people's attention. It's what could make your art look so professional. Livia gave an introduction to rendering as well. And she showed as references, the old traditional paintings, and explained how to go from simple forms to complex ones, and that's exactly what rendering is. You have to give simple forms an actual shape, of course while respecting the light source, and how anatomy works. Again references are also very important in this part, it will help you a lot improving your vision, and it will give you a whole new perspective too. Last but not least, enhancing details with photos, this part is also very important real photos as textures are very important, and it completes your details. But what you need to practice for this part, is how to use them, and how you put them together, how you wrap them to suit your drawing. You will find tons of photoshop tutorials of combining photos together and using textures, it would help a lot. And for this tutorial, Livia used it for the birds, the outfits texture, and the face, so as to enhance her details more. For me, I usually do that with effects, or some specific textures that I'd need. And that's it. You can still keep editing and adjusting your art. But what I gave you is just a breath and a start. To change your perspective. To get a tutorial. Go visit the link in the description. And by the art god secret. There is also another tutorial. That I'll be reviewing soon. I just wanted to say hurry up cause the 56% off is not forever maybe only for this month. I don't know. It has 76 to 32 hours with only 46 dollars. So go get it now before it says bye bye and came back to 109 dollars now moving to me applying all those seven steps i've mentioned while following and using livia's brushes and techniques of drawing games character for my chart to pick this time since i'm mostly fanatist is lalisa manaban aka lisa from blackpink i want to give her a cyberpunk girl mood and the silliest idea i had is to give her the light stick as a weapon i'm sorry lisa so let's get started one Get inspired by artists. Done. I'm getting inspired by Livia and the pop artist Lisa as references. 2. Never rush on sketches and ideas. I was stuck with my first ideas, but then I changed the whole thing. I was about to draw this, but it was so flat, and I wasn't very proud of it. So I changed my whole references and started again. Now I tried to draw in different poses, and accidentally got this one, which was kinda dynamic and finally not flat. So I continued with it. 3. Detailing the sketch and the use of brushes. I used Livia's brushes. 
And by the way this is my first time using Photoshop for a background drawing. I only use Photoshop for adjustments lol. However I managed to get used to it. I tried to detail the sketch chosen. Give her a specific cyberpunk outfits like the references. And I tried to define the forms. Before passing to the fourth step. Coloring. Livia's introduction to colors helped me a lot. And it changed many things. However I'm still dumb. I got colors all wrong and her skin tone and hair color so wrong, but I fixed them all with more adjustments. Sorry Livia, I failed you. Are we in 6 or 5? Anyways. Rendering. Even though this is the part where I ruin everything, and I ruin my whole anatomy, but it's the part I enjoy the most. It's so satisfying for me, and I forget anatomy, yet I tried hard to be good, since I have a huge problem with poses and body in general. And the seventh step, enhancing with photos, this is not really the last step cause I kinda do it while rendering as well. I'm a mess and my whole work is a mess so don't worry, if you are like me, I use photos mostly for backgrounds, effects, and clothes texture, like the hollow texture I tried to put on her clothes but failed. However, these are the results, I've made two versions, let me know in the comments which one you preferred the most, and for Livia, notice me senpai, I love you, and I can't wait to practice hard to be like you, thank you so much for the tutorial, it changed many things, also thank you for Yihu star for sponsoring this video, hope you guys get the tutorial now, and show me your results as always, I'm available on discord and my other social medias, thanks for watching.